Go back to my channel guys, ito na nga ang part 3 ng pag-discuss natin ng stocks and bonds at dito itatalakay natin ang kanyang mga market indices. To start with, let us briefly discuss what is the stock market. A stock index or stock market index is the measure of the value of a section of the stock market and is computed from the price of selected stocks. Investors and financial managers use this to describe the market and compare the return on a specific investment. One example is the PSE Composite Index or PSEI. It is composed of 30 companies carefully selected to represent the general movement of market prices. The up and down movement in percent change over time can indicate how the index is performing. Other indices are sector indices, each representing sector example, financial institutions, industrial corporations, holding firms, service corporations, mining and oil, and property. The stock index can be standard by which investors can compare the performance of their stocks. A financial institution may want to compare its performance with those of others. This can be done by comparing with a financial index. Next indices is the stock market table. Stock indices are reported in the business section of magazines or newspapers as well as online. The following table shows how a list of index values is typically presented. The values here are hypothetical. The stock market table has the following columns. Column 1, Index. Examples are PSEI, Financials, Holding Firms, Industrial, Property Services, and others. The next is the val column. It refers to the value of the index. Example, the value today of PSEI is 7,523 pesos and 93 centavos. The value today of services, 1,622.73. The third is the CHG column. It is the change of index value from the previous trading. It is the difference between the value of trading today minus the value of trading yesterday. Madali naman siyang interpret. Ibig sabihin kapag negative ang CHG, ibig sabihin bumaba ang trading ngayon in compare kahapon. At kapag positive naman, ibig sabihin tumaas ang trading ngayon in compare kahapon. Tulad halimbawa ng PSEI, negative siya, ibig sabihin bumaba ang trading ngayon ng negative 14.20. At yun namang industrial, tumaas ng 125.08. At ang fourth and last column ng ating stock market table ay ang percentage of change. It refers to the ratio of change of the index. At para makukuha natin yan, I-divide natin yung CHG column at saka yung VAL column values. Ihalimbawa natin yung holding firms. Yung CHG na 2.42, i-divide natin sa kanyang VAL na 6513.37. Ang sagot nga ay 0.037. Next ay pag-aralan din natin itong stock tables. Newspapers or magazines may also report on stock prices of individual companies. The following table shows below the information about stocks can be presented. Values are hypothetical also. In the table above, the, the terms mean the following. Number 1, 52-week high and low. It refers to the highest and lowest selling price of the stock in the past 52 weeks. So, it means that company AAA has the highest stock for last 52 weeks of 94 and lowest stock for the last 52 weeks of 44. The high and low column refers to the highest and lowest selling price of the stock for the last trading day. So, it means that company BBB has the highest stock yesterday of 45 and the lowest stock yesterday of 32.7. 
next is the stock column. The three-letter symbol for the company is using for trading. Next is the div column. Refers to the dividend per share last year. Meaning, company AAA has 0.70 and company BBB has 0.28 dividend last year. Next column is the vol per 100. Number of shares traded in the last trading day. In this case, stock 100 AAA sold 20, 50 shares of 100 which is equal to 20,500 shares. Next is the close column referring to the closing price in the last uh, trading day. In this case, company AAA has a closing price of 57.29 on its last trading day. The last column is the net CHG refers to the change between the two last trading days. In case of company AAA, the net change is 0 0.10 the closing price the day before the last trading day is 57.28 minus 0.10 is equal to 57.19. At para interpret natin ang net change kapag positive, ibig sabihin bumaba ang trading today in compare the last day. At kapag negative naman, tumaas ang trading today in compare to the last day. Kaya sa ating table, si company AAA ay bumaba ang trading ngayon samantalang si company BBB ay tumaas ang kanyang trading ngayon. Mahalaga ang stock table na yan kasi dyan mo malalaman kung ang iyong uh, stocks ay tumataas ba or bumaba ba. Or kung ikaw ba ay kumikita or nalulugi. Next index table is for the buying or selling goods. To buy or sell stocks, one may go to the Philippine Stock Exchange or PSE personally. However, nowadays are done making a phone call to a registered broker or by logging on to a reputable online trading platform. Uh, those with accounts in online trading platforms may often encounter a table like the following. In the table above, the terms mean the following, bid size, the number of individual buy orders, and the total number of shares that wish to buy. In the first row, under bid size, it means that 122 buyers wants to buy the total shares of 354,100. In the last row, it means that 9 buyers wants to buy the total of 14,200 shares. The bid price. The price those buyers are willing to pay for the stock. Interpret natin yung third column under bid size. Ibig sabihin, may 42 buyers na bibili sila ng 456,500 share of stocks at pabayaran nila per stock ng 21 pesos and 50 cents. Tandaan nyo guys, ang bid ay para sa buyers, ang ask or offers ay para sa sellers. Dumako tayo sa ask price. The price the sellers of the stock are willing to sell the stock. Meaning, in this table, merong gustong magbenta ng 21.80, 21.90 and up to 22.30 respectively. Last but not the least column is the ask size. It refers to how many individual sell orders have been placed in the online platform and the total number of shares these sellers wish to sell. At para madali nyong maintindihan, interpret natin yung unang row under ask size. Ibig sabihin, merong isang seller na magbebenta siya ng 20 stocks sa halagang 21 pesos and 80 cents. Interpret din natin yung nasa huling row. Merong anim na sellers na magbebenta sila ng total na 23,400 stocks sa halagang 22 pesos and 30 cents. Ang index or table na yan ang inyong deciding factor kung kayo ay bibili at pagbebenta ng stocks or goods. Now let's move on to the third and last. What is bond market indices? A bond index or bond market index is a method of measuring the value of a section of the market. The main platform for bonds or fixed income securities in the Philippines is the Philippine Dealing and Exchange Corporation or PDEX. 
Unlike stock indices, which are associated with virtually every stock market in the world, bond market indices are far less common. In fact, other than certain regional bond indices which have sub-indices covering the Philippines, our bond market does not typically compute a bond market index. Instead, the market rates produced from the bond market are interest rates which may be used as benchmark for other financial instruments. Once again guys, kung nakatulong sa iyo ang video ito, huwag kalimutang mag-like, mag-comment at mag-share. Kung di ka pa nagkakapag-subscribe, subscribe ka na din.